What is going on, Halo fans? Luke the Noble here. Welcome to episode 9 of my top 5 clip series. A lot of you have been asking if I can make this a top 10 clip series, but I've already made 9 episodes of the top 5, and I generally do more than 5 clips anyway with all the notable mentions I do, so we're just we're just going to keep it as a top 5. You can just let it be known that this is like a top 10 or 15 or however many clips I decide to do, but yeah, we're going to keep the title the same. You ever feel that Halo 5 just hates you? That it's just not your day? Well, there's a sniper rifle! Oh, wait. Nope. There, there isn't the sniper rifle. Not sure what happened here, but I guess someone isn't meant to hit some tasty nares today. Raw is Jordan is doing stuff a little bit unconventional today. He sees an enemy is on the other end of the map, and instead of whipping out a sniper rifle, a rail gun, something that's made for this kind of thing, he whips out an incineration cannon, and he shows us how great he really is with this thing. Launching his incineration shot across the map, hitting his kill, and then kind of standing there like, oh, I, don't, I don't know what just happened. I gotta record that. This is going up on LTN's top five. For our next notable mention, we have Fatless Colt here on some Warzone map that I can't remember the name of, and he's got a couple guys coming around the corner, so he decides to be a really sneaky ninja. I have never been up here. I didn't think you could crouch him up there, but that's actually a really cool move. He does miss a couple back smacks, but he goes straight back up, comes around the corner, and then decides to do it again, jumping up, fooling all three of these enemies, and watch what he's about to do with this gunfighter magnum. Spax Max the first one, gets the cleanup on the second, and the cleanup on the third for the sneaky triple. That's it for our notable mentions, and I did remember to call them notable mentions this time. Our man Doom is about to be probably the most clutch player that I've ever seen, taking on a Warthog by himself, spraying the guy in the back of the Warthog for the kill. He's one shot now, so he runs towards the overshield, narrowly activating it before the guy with the hammer gets the first shot in, and then goes on to perfect him for the kill. Take that hammer. You deserve it. What's really cool about this clip is that no point does he know that the OS is there. He just knows some kind of ESP or timing it or whatever. It's, it's so clutch. It looks like it may be a close one for Mega Bravo 1 here. The enemy's got 24 kills and he only has 21, but he does have the camo, so he could end up clutching this out, but I'm not crossing my fingers anytime soon. Gets the first cleanup and the second, getting clutch medals for both. I didn't think he got clutch medals anytime you got a kill. Getting the triple kill without a scope. Who needs scope? Who cares that I did a video on that? And then the last kill for the overkill, for the win. Mega Bravo 1 was one player who went in and won. He came in number one place and he, he won. Things are starting to heat up on the map Eden here for Nate Tom as his team is up by only one kill at the start of the match. He's getting some pressure up from Tot Cat, shoots the first guy in the face, hits the second guy right in the penis, takes out the third guy by rushing up here and shoots him in the face when he doesn't even know he's there. See his problem was he led with a grenade throw. And then turns around 180 hitting the guy on blue corner in the face with a snapshot. Fubiki's honestly starting to become the lord of this top 5. He's just in it so often, but it's not my fault, guys. He sends me pretty awesome clips. We are on the same map, Eden, and Fubiki knows that this binary rifle is going to become some sort of sweet, awesome clip fuel. He takes out the first guy, takes two shots, but that's okay. Hits the one-shot guy for the double, cleans up the easy triple, looking around, reloading, sees two guys in the corner of his eye, gets a double snipultaneous with the binary rifle, picking up the killtacular, and getting the extermination. Halloween's coming up guys, so you know I had to pick a spooky one. Divine's here on this big team battle map, and again, I could never remember the names of these ones, but he's got the camo, and he sees a bunch of guys about to cap the flag for the red team, but he says, no, not today. He comes in all spooky-like, getting the assassination for the killtacular. There is the killtrocity, and picking up the last guy for the Kilimanjaro. Great clip, dude. I don't think I've ever seen someone hit an extermination in big team battle, but that would seriously be insane. I'd have to put it in my top five in every single top five from here until top five episode 69. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for sending in your clips. I know a lot of you are going to ask about the sniper episode and that will be next week. I'm also working on a couple other special episodes, so send in all of your clips, sniper ones, whatever it may be. I got a lot of secret ones, you know, working in the mix because... I like to be secretive. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to send your clips into ltntop5 at gmail.com. It really helps me if you send them through email. It just keeps me so organized. Community montage coming soon. Almost have enough clips for that. So if you want to get into that, send those as well. Thank you all for watching. Stay notable, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.